Nation, I gotta tell you something. I don't get what the hell the bronies are all about. This guy's gonna tell you why bronies are so popular. Meet McDovin. Tell me yeah, why bronies yeah. are so popular. Bronies? Because I have no idea why. <laughs> fucking putting me on the spot. Bronies are popular because we like the whole sense of nostalgia. You need to go into the light over here. Yeah, we, we like the sense of nostalgia. Actually, we went to, him and I just went to go see the, This is the End. Anyways, um, it was a good movie. In the light. Actually, he can put up my review. Put it, put it this way, I'll just say as much. Uh, movie was good. It was, I give it a solid 8 out of 10. Hilarious as fuck. Probably one of the best comedies I've seen this year. Anyways, about Bronies. The reason why... We are so intrigued with the show. Why every? Why there's such? It's my. It's for little girls, though. That's why I don't get. Oh, okay. It's like for little little girls. You ever seen Adventure Time? No, I. I tried watching five minutes. My friend. I was at my friend's place. He was making me watch My Little Pony. I watched it for five minutes. My head was spinning, and I was getting such a fucking headache. I just it's, couldn't it's, stand it anymore. Per, it's perfectly fine. The thing about the show, I'm trying to say this much. The thing about MLP is it's not like the older versions. It's not like the old '80s cartoons that one kid, one kids were growing up. I was born in '93, so I, you know, I understood some of the cartoons. Uh, the car, it's basically a show made for kids who grew up or for people that grew up in the '90s. Did Danny DeVito voice any of these ponies? Because he did the movie My Little Pony back in the day. Daniel DeVito. Danny DeVito. Danny DeVito. No. Danny. No, actually. Tara How I know that is I am a Danny DeVito fan. Tara Strong, i.e. the voice. Is that a of porn star? No. You thinking of uh, Patrick? Tara Patrick. Never mind. Yeah, no. Tara Strong, otherwise known as the voice of Timmy Turner, Bubbles from uh, Powerpuff Girls. Um, oh, who else? There's a, quite a few other characters. She was, I think, she was in. I don't know. Teen Titans. She played Raven. Uh, I believe she also played um, Princess Clara in Drawn Together. Basically, Drawn Together, that's a good yeah, show. Yeah, well, this animation style, everything about the show is... It was... I don't know why. It's just we immediately came to it either because we had younger sisters or had sisters or because we grew up with, you know, females in our life and everything. And a lot of us males enjoy it. And it's just because it gives you that sense of innocence that you retain it. Bronies are just... It, it's, a phenom it's a fascinating phenomenon. And I... Trust me... It, Standing here now, I don't even know if you told me I'd be wearing a hat and I'd be going to meetups and I'd be going to conventions and stuff. I would laugh. Wait, 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 hold on. There's a Brony convention. There's a thing called Brony Can and Brony Con. Brony Cons in Baltimore. In and grown men go to do go to this. Grown men as well as as well as teenagers. Kids. Well, I can understand the teenagers and kids, but grown men. Put it this way: There's people in the military who like this show. Uh, uh, I'm not going to say anything bad about them. <laughs> All I'm going to say about this is. There's a sense of gender equality and the lines of sexism have been blurred completely to the point that, you know, it was something about, I read this article about gender rearing and it was talking about how, or child rearing, and it was how children are being raised in this non-sexist environment and how we might be confused. And in some ways we are confused about who we are, but other ways we're not. We're very free and liberated. All I have to say on bronies is this. We're an interesting culture. I can prefer to say this much. I do not care as much for some of the fan art that's out there. Some of it's fantastic and phenomenal. Same with the music. Same with what they're doing in, in, in animation. It's like any community. But if you think bronies are terrible, look at the so Sonic fandom. They're just... Bad. The what? The what? Sonic fandom. Sonic the Hedgehog. Sonic the Hedgehog. The What's wrong with Sonic great. the Hedgehog? Nothing's wrong with Sonic the Hedgehog. But as like Xbox, like Sony, like every other freaking thing out there, like Star Wars, like Star Trek, like all of these fans, there's always going to be the extremists, and that's what bronies are considered is because that's how they're seen is in the light. All right. right, I have to say this. I've been meaning to say this for a while. Fuck kids react. Fuck teens react. Fuck the whole re react series by the Fine Brothers. They could suck mm -hmm. my dick. Seriously, you don't like any of the react shows? No, all the elders are pretty funny, and there's a few YouTubers funny. react. Yeah, terrible, terrible. It's a waste of space, and the reason I hate it so much is because they give them a few videos to watch, and then it's just like here, you make your opinion on it. Who gives a shit? They only can put like three videos because they only got a certain time frame, don't they? Yeah, no, they do, but they they what? The, okay, with the my little with the MLP, um, elder, you know, react teens react to it. It's been a while since I've seen that episode. Yeah, well, the thing is, they showed them the intro. The intro, hands down, is the girliest part of the show. Yeah, I'm that's what say, my buddy, buddy told me. I this much. If you like Disney cartoons and you grew up with Pixar and Disney and you grew up watching shows like Pinky and the Brain, Animaniacs, Foster's Home for Imaginary Friends, Rugrats, 
anything on Cartoon Network, Nickelodeon, etc., 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 the good shit back in the 90s and early 2000s, you know exactly why you like MLP. It's, some people, it's just not for them. Other people enjoy it. And the reason why, like I said, it comes down to innocence, retaining it, childhood-like mentality, and nostalgia. My name is McDovin. I'm out of here. Take it easy. Humanoid Nation out.